Uh, so this is the last hour of our third annual Global Virtual Cancer Conference. So we're going to spend the next hour together. And uh, in case you missed it at the beginning or in case you don't already know, my name is Lauren Listowskis. I'm a cervical cancer survivor and I'm the program director for Grit Health. And of course, goes without saying, we really, really hope that you had a great day today and also enjoyed the content that we provided yesterday and Thursday evening. Our team of cancer patients, survivors, caregivers, advocates, and researchers have been working around the clock on this conference for almost an entire year. Right after last year's conference ended, we picked right back up and started planning this year for you guys. We really truly put our hearts and souls into it to ensure it was a great experience for you all. With that being said, we would of course love to hear what you think. We will be getting an email probably later this evening with a survey. And if you complete the survey by November 19th, You'll be in the drawing, you'll be in a drawing to win one of five gift cards. Your responses to the survey, of course, help us improve future events and always meet you where you are and provide you what you're needing in the moment. Uh, if you join my meetups, you know I'm always asking for feedback. <laughs> if you miss any of the content here live over the last three days, don't worry. It'll be back online for you to access 24-7. And if you enjoyed the conference, please make sure to tell your friends. We leave registration open so people can still come in and participate once we have all of the recordings back on the website. And of course, if you haven't already yet, we welcome you to join our Grit Health community. We offer a community free from judgment that values you for the humanity that you bring. We pride ourselves on creating comfortable spaces for uncomfortable conversations. In fact, we have a member meetup coming up on December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I'd love to see you again all there in just a couple of weeks. You can register for that at grithealth.com under events. And you can learn more about all of our programming and other support services that we offer at our main website, grithealth.com. So throughout the conference, you probably heard about patient experience research quite a bit mostly yesterday in a session today. If you haven't heard enough, I will tell you one more time. Your voice matters. It really does. Your story and experience bring value. And by sharing it, you can not only help yourself, but help others by giving them permission to talk about the things they didn't know they could. In addition to being a Grit Health community member, which of course is always free, like everything at Grit Health, you can share your story in written or video form on our website. We welcome contributions anytime. Even if you don't think you're a writer, you can still participate. If you don't want to write, we'll get you in touch with one of our community members that will help you write your story or interview you for your story. We also have a patient experience research registry called the GRIP Project, where you can sign up to receive notices of relevant patient experience research that fit your unique criteria. We believe in transparency, privacy, and engagement. We're never gonna give your data away without your consent. All right, well, that's enough, right? Enough of this grit health spiel. Uh, for now, I'm gonna put on my fun hat, my survivor hat, take off the grit health hat. I, I, didn't, I didn't bring my hat. Everyone around here has been wearing their hat and I don't have mine. So um, I wanted to let you know that the rest of the time that we have together, as everything I do at Grit Health uh, through our programs, this is a safe space where we can just connect and talk together and talk about anything you want. So I want to thank you all for coming to the conference and for staying for this last hour together. I'd really love to turn it over to Dave Craig, Grit Health's one of Grit Health's co-founders and CEO, in case he wants to give us a few words. Dave, are you around? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's sneaking in on me. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> what are we talking about? 
a few words. What do you want to tell the people about the conference, how you're feeling? I love what you just said about a comfortable place for uncomfortable conversations. Uh, that is something we definitely do. And I know my community members know it too, because anything goes in the meetups. I feel like you have so many of those all year long. What is it like to look back on how those conversations go and what they mean to everybody? Yeah, I think just allowing people to come in, even as my pretty typed up words here, um, letting people come in and be who they are and who they want to be is so important. I never want somebody to come in and feel uncomfortable or like they can't be themselves. Um, my community members that always come, they know that we will literally meet you where you are. If you want to come to meet up and celebrate, we're going to celebrate. If you're pissed, <laughs> we're going to be pissed off with you. <laughs> if you're going to cry, we're going to cry with you. No, and, not that one. Oh, Dave, Dave, if you guys don't know, Dave always cries, <laughs> like cries one. at everything. Um, and I think that's just really important in knowing that it is a safe space and anything goes conversation wise. And I love seeing people come to Grit Health, join our cancer community, and then become more involved. I know Milagros is on, mm. Carla's on. Um, they've been community members now for over a year. And today they actually mm. participated in one of our live sessions as speakers, which is just one of the ways that you know, you can become more involved with Grit Health and just watching both of them, Milagros and Carla, go from coming to a meetup and finally introducing yourselves to then saying, I want to get more involved. I want to tell my story. I want people to hear what I have to say. And that is exactly what we are. We want to get you where you want to go and what you want to be. I have one comment. I might cry a little bit. Oh, here come the tears. <laughs> um, uh, for me, the moments that I felt dismissed or unheard or um, alone um, are painful, like really painful. And um, I see you create space for people to share those and not feel dismissed or unheard. And that's some of the most powerful and important stuff I've ever seen. So thank you. All right. I got tears a little bit. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Always, always with the tears. What did we tell you? What did we tell you? Um, so with that being said, just want to thank you again. Um, the floor is open. Uh, you guys are welcome as always to participate as you feel comfortable. So whether you're on video, off video, muted, unmuted, if you just want to chat. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you, whether it's, you know, who you are, how you're doing, or maybe even tell us about your favorite session at the conference. Um, we would love to hear from you. So if you would like to participate, and um, I just ask that when you unmute, you just say your name and let us know who you are first so we know who we're hearing from. So anybody want to say hi? It's Timothy. Hi, I Timothy. Want, I want to tell everyone. I survived two times with cancer. I had AM, AML at 14. I had Burkitt's lymphoma at 41. I at six four I developed Luke Garrick disease. It's familiar with my father, grandfather, and a Viking long ago. So I wanted to say I really enjoyed the conference. I love everyone. And I hope to attend next year. 
Thank you, Tim. Thank you for sharing. We're so happy you're here with us. And thank you for sharing a little bit about your story. We're glad you joined us. Um, and we're happy to have you here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Keep me in your prayers and thoughts, everyone. We will. Thank you, Tim. Uh, anybody else want to say hi, introduce themselves? Hi, this is uh, Marie. Hi, I'm oh, we will go ahead and let Marie chime in first. Hi, this is Marie Fowler. I'm in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I just wanted to thank you. This has been extraordinary. And um, I had just found out about the conference on um, kind of the mid second day. So can you share more about your, can you say a little bit more about your, your organization um, since I'm new to it? Yeah, I would, I would love to tell you. I, I talk about grit health all the time. Uh, so I'll start off by telling you what's special about grit health to me. Um, maybe a lot of people don't even know this. Maybe you do, but uh, a little over three fourths of the grit health team. We are actually cancer survivors and caregivers ourselves. So, uh, unfortunately been there, done that we get it. We share a similar experience, obviously not the same as everyone else's, but we've been there and, I can tell you that everything I do at Grit Health, if I think back to when I was in treatment and I actively had cancer, that we're not going to do anything that I wouldn't have wanted to attend or that I would have, you know, I always do something that I wish I would have had five years ago. And so we offer, uh, we do a lot. We do a lot of things. Uh, so we do things like the Global Virtual Cancer Conference, but then throughout the year, because we're not going to leave you hanging, we're not going to have this crazy conference and then say, see you next year. Uh, we do regular programming. So as the program director, uh, we host topics. So uh, if the community is telling me you want to learn about nutrition, if you're telling me you want to learn about chemo brain, well, I'm going to get an expert on and we're going to sit down and talk about it. We also have member meetups where we hang out literally like we are right now on Zoom. And then, like I mentioned, we also uh, have a research project called the GRIT Project. And that is where you're able to use your voice and make a change in healthcare and share your cancer experience and what you went through and let your voice be heard. And we also do some other projects that are different conferencing. And we really always want to hear from you. You know, it's not, it's not about me. It's not about our team, but we always want to provide things that are most beneficial. We want to meet you where you are and we want to help you get to where you want to be. Even if you go backwards or around in circles, I will go backwards and around in circles with you because uh, life is not linear and cancer sure as hell isn't either. So that's a little bit about grit health and what we do. Wow. And so are you a nonprofit? Uh, so we are not a nonprofit because of the research we do. And that is for a very specific reason. We partner with, uh, as you probably saw in the exhibit hall today, over 50 nonprofit partners who are nonprofit organizations in the cancer space and the research we do and being a not, not being a nonprofit, we chose that because we never want to take away from the funding and the fundraising that happens for those nonprofits. We don't want to compete with the great things that they're offering. What does GRIT stand for? Great question. I get this one all the time. So uh, GRIT, G-R-Y-T, you're like, you guys capitalize it. It must be an acronym, right? It's not. It's not. Um, <laughs> it's not. So we really have GRIT because, you know, you have to have GRIT to go through cancer. But we took away the I and we made it a Y because you're not alone. It's not just you in it. And then being together, that's the Y. Well, now I have the why. Thank you. 
What was it? Yes. You all are our why. Yes. And then just a quick follow up question. Um, so since because of this virtual space, do you work with people around the country or? Yeah, so this, uh, we are global, like the name of our conference suggests, um, Global Virtual Cancer Conference. So we do have community members all over the place. Uh, if you're tuning in now and you're international, tell us in the chat where you are outside of the U.S. We'd love to hear that. Uh, but we have, I know, over 30 different countries people register for the conference from. Uh, I would say most of us are in the U.S., um, but we are global. And then as for our Grit Health team, uh, since we are a virtual company, we're completely remote. Uh, we live all over the place. We came together to be together in Rochester, New York this weekend to be in person for a little bit. We have an office here in Rochester. It's uh, where we get mail sent and keep Grit Health t-shirts and pens but we are all over the place across five different time zones and we work virtually. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you, Marie. Anybody else wanna say hi? Hi, uh, my name is uh, Danette Elise Toledo and I wanted to say thank you guys for doing this because a year ago from today, when I found this uh, Grid Health by Axe on Facebook, I didn't think it was possible. Um, ever since I joined other support group like Gilda's Club, thank you. Um, my doctors and my specialists have noticed a lot of changes on me. So that's a good thing, even though my state does not have this type of program, but I'm very grateful. My family is very, very grateful. They noticed that my sub has improved. I mean, there are other health issues came up just recently that they're just watching, nothing serious, but they're just watching. So it had helped, it had helped me a lot and it helps me to be where I am today. So I just want to say thank you. And I hope you guys will continue to do this. Like I love art, I love yoga, meditation, everything y'all do is excellent. So I just want to say thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you Danette. We love having you. And uh, like Danette mentioned, you know, it, it, you have to be ready to say, I want to come to something like the Global Virtual Cancer Conference or be a community member at Grit Health. But the benefits, like Danette was saying, uh, just from connecting with other people who get it and understand what you've been through can be really, really powerful and healing. Anybody else want to say hi? Hey, it's Jen Brower. Hi from Michigan, everybody. Just want to say awesome conference again. I've been cleaning the house while listening to everything, so I'm not showing my face right now. That's okay. I'll show my face on the next member meetup, but I just hope that everyone is doing well. And remember, for those of you that maybe you are not feeling okay today, go ahead and reach out. Reach out to Lauren or whoever. I'm willing to talk to anybody, no matter if our type of cancer is the same or not. We're all here to help you and love on you. Thanks, Jen. Uh, we love Jen. She comes to tons of our stuff, tons of our programming, and has actually spoken on a program as a panelist before. So, and Jen's exactly right. Um, if you're down in the dumps, if today wasn't great, or you're overwhelmed from the things you learned over the last two and a half days, uh, good news is Grit Health is 24-7. We do have a platform, so our website, and you can also download it on your phone. Uh, you can create an account, and we have chat rooms that are actually open 24-7. And then we also have Vivabot, who lives there, and she is a mental health chat bot. So she can actually walk you through different skills to help with things, increase resiliency, um, mindfulness, gratitude, walk you through different skills, and she's really available uh, 24 seven in case, you know, somebody's not on the platform ready to chat with you. But also, as Jen said, you are also welcome to email anyone on the Grit Health team, uh, especially me. I love my community members. Uh, as they know, I will take emails all the time. Carla's always texting me and sending me fun pictures. I love it. 
Um, I will have, uh, looks like Ben, my teammate Ben dropped the link to create an account for our online platform. Uh, and if Ben, you could drop my email address in the chat as well. Um, I'm always open to meeting new people and talking things out. Thanks, Jen. When it comes to speakers, uh, if you are ever interested in speaking, whether it's next year's Global Virtual Cancer Conference or participating in one of our programs, um, I'm always looking for people to participate. As I always, always, always say, it is never my intention or goal to ever have a session at a conference or a program that doesn't include the patient voice. You can see that almost Every single program or session we have, there's always going to be a cancer patient, survivor, or caregiver. And that's my promise to you that I'm never going to have five doctors talking at you. I'm never going to give you a lecture. You know, it's, it's your community and you need to have a spot in it. And that's why we're always encouraging you to use your voice as well. And if you, if you want to see something for a program or see something for next year's conference, let us know because we're going to jump right back into planning. Hi, Lauren. It's Angela from Texas. Um, I just found y'all on, oh, y'all. Yeah, Texas. I just found y'all on Instagram a month ago. And um, I want to say thank you for this. I was diagnosed in March of 2020 which was also when we shut down. So um, this would have been really incredible to have something like this a year and a half ago. Um, Cause as you could imagine, because of the pandemic, um, I did chemo alone, you know, no one was allowed um, in the infusion room and they had shut down all of the groups. Um, you know, my, my cancer center and the doctors just kind of didn't know what was going on on at the beginning of the pandemic and how to navigate around that with cancer. Um, and we were getting shuffled from hospital to hospital and center to center for everything. And um, it was a very lonely place to go through treatment and a pandemic, but at the beginning of it. Um, and so now that I've um, just recently started survivorship, it's nice to find a community now that it's, I'm at, I guess the end of it. I don't know, but finally maybe find somewhere to go to, um, to talk to people um, that also had it. I had three girlfriends that were diagnosed right after me. And in the last month, all three have now passed, unfortunately. So um, I'm still here and I would love to reach out and find other survivors or thrivers um, to kind of talk about all the other junk that's left behind that's going on. So the workshops today were very, very useful for me. Um, so thank you. Thank you for sharing, Angela. And I'm sorry for your loss of your friends. Um, that is definitely a topic that we talk about a lot at Grit Health is that survivor's guilt. Um, you meet people in the cancer world, and unfortunately, because we have all had cancer and people get recurrences, diagnosed, new diagnoses, uh, that's unfortunately part of it. But meeting those people and connecting with them while they are here with us means the world to me, and I'm sure as Angela, you know. Um, but we're definitely here for you, and we're happy to have you, and glad you found us on Instagram. I was going to say just uh, um, thank you for letting me share earlier on the panel. Uh, it was a great opportunity. I was going to mention about the Vivabot. Um, I remember when I was going through chemo, and you know how you have those nights through chemo, you can't sleep, and you have your insomnia? Uh, she was actually the one that kind of got me through it, um, through a lot of my anxiety. I would just go to the program, and it really helped me kind of calm down and, and actually get back to sleep. So that's a great program you guys have. Um, so if anybody can – can connect to that. It, it really did help me through a lot of sleepless nights when I just needed, when it's hard to connect with somebody during those late nights or early mornings when you, you can't sleep. So that's a great program you guys do. And I appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to share today. It was a great, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Uh, for those of you that might've missed it, Joe was on one of our sessions where we had 
uh, eight community members actually tell their story live. So put them on the spot and let them talk about their experience. And Joe, you're exactly right about Vivabot. And that is exactly why she was created, uh, was for those 3 a.m. moments. Um, those moments are the ones that hit the hardest sometimes. And you're right. Nobody else is awake. There's no one to talk to. And she really can, you know, work through certain things with you and it can be really beneficial. Uh, ben dropped a link in the chat about Vivabot. So if you want to know what we're talking about, who we're talking about, uh, Vivabot, or as we at Grit Health like to nickname her Vivi, uh, you can click that link Ben dropped. So thank you, Joe. Uh, anybody else want to say hi? Do any of my Grit Health co-workers want to say hi? Can you hear me? I don't know. Yeah. Let's say hi to, the, to my friends. My niece and nephews, they, got, they just got here. <laughs> hi, Carla. Too cute. <laughs> you. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Uh, Bikira, do you want to say hi? I was just going to say, everyone that was on the panel with me did a great job. And, you know, guys, you know, no one, the nerves, everyone shook it off and just did the thing and told their story their way. And they were amazing. And so it was really wonderful to be with everybody. I am driving, so um, I'm trying to be <laughs> as careful as possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, gonna, thank you. But thank yeah, so hi, everyone, and great job. And the rest of the conference was great, too. I really Thank you. Thank you, Bakira. Drive safe. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to turn my camera yes. off <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it looks like Sarah has her hand up. Did you want to say hi, Sarah? Hi. Yeah. I just want to say I'm new to the conference this year, and I think it's been really great. Some moments where we're really heartfelt and really hard to, um, you know, sit through just because We've all been through it, whether caregiver, survivor, or newly diagnosed. And um, for me, I feel that you know, being a cancer survivor is a loaded is a loaded phrase for me. But I think that just having um, something like this, especially during the pandemic, as we're getting through it, is really helpful. You know, um, someone, one of the panelists, was speaking about fertility and concerns with that. Um, unfortunately, my fertility was never preserved, even though that was one of my main concerns when I was first diagnosed. I was young at you know, 24 diagnosed and um, a lot of the male doctors didn't really take it serious enough. And um, being forced into a decision that really feels like it was made for me is something that has been hard to um, really live with. And so hearing different perspectives, you know, he hearing the male perspective on cancer and even advocacy, um, different communities, mm -hmm. women of color has really been meaningful um, as we're bridging, bridging and walking with each other, supporting each other through this journey. And I feel like, you know, I, I'm really am looking forward to meeting everyone again in December. And if we do this again next year, um, you know, I'm trying to tell everyone about the community that you've created here so that we know that we're not alone, whether you're in the States or overseas, we can really connect and be there for each other. So thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah. And you're, I'm right there with you. I was 23 when I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And uh, in May of 2016, I had to have a radical hysterectomy and I, my gynecologic oncologist wasn't going to ask me what I wanted to do for future plans of children. Uh, unfortunately, that happens a lot. It's not even talked about, but I can tell you that grit health, we talk about it. We always talk about fertility because so many of us experience infertility due to treatment or surgery. And it's something that should be talked about. And I actually had to bring it up and he said, well, I mean, if you want to go have a consult, go ahead. And that was really the end of the conversation. So 
completely understand. And thank you for sharing about Grit Health. And uh, Ben, if you could drop the link to the registration for the December member meetup, that would be great. That's when we'll all get together again in December on the 1st. And then um, now that the conference is wrapping up tonight, I get to get back at it and get busy planning our 2022 programming schedule, which is, I'm excited. I'm going to have a lot of great sessions and the conference is everything we do during the year crammed into a couple of days and it's really exciting. So thank you, Sarah. I'm glad you found us and joined us. Uh, Liz, I see your hand up. I'm excited too. (laughs) Um, I just wanted to say hello to everybody, especially the people that I haven't gotten to talk directly to yet. I hope you enjoyed the conference. And when Lauren was talking about sharing your story, um, if any of you want to do that, but don't want to write it yourself or don't know where to start or how to begin or what to do, I will be the person that you will most likely work with to um, figure out how to do that. Um, Please feel free to reach out to me um, and uh, let me know how we can help you do that. Um, And if you have ideas for next year, whether it's, you know, what you want to see in the swag box to what type of sessions you want to what um, features you'd like to see on the website or the chats or the cork boards, like please be sure to let us know in the evaluations because as survivors, we all get our own ideas and with talking with the community, we do um, take ideas from that as well, but it would be great to have that in writing so we can show the staff that that's what's wanted. Um, also, just in case anybody doesn't know, um, I am a bladder cancer survivor. As Erin mentioned earlier, I just passed my five-year mark in September. And I went through treatment and all that stuff. I actually found, I don't know where Dave went, but I found the app before it was Grit Health. <laughs> from my hospital bed (laughs) Um, and I've been a member of the community um, all through treatment and for the past several years um, I had the opportunity to speak on a panel last year for GVCC and I officially joined the Grit Health team the end of August. Oh, that's what I put up here. I'll put home when I have everything. Thanks. So I'm very excited to be a part of the Grit Health team on the opposite side of things and to be here to help all of you get through everything that we all go through. Thanks, Liz. Liz is great. Like she said, um, in the new year, if you want to tell your story, but you're like, writing isn't for me and making a video of myself isn't for me. Uh, Liz and I will get you all set up because you never know who is going to benefit from hearing your story. Um, Whether you believe it or not, even if one person reads it and benefits, then it's worth sharing your story. Uh, Anybody else want to say hi? or have any questions. I can introduce myself real quick. Go for it, Jess. Hi, everyone. Uh, My name is Jess Balance. I am on the Grit Health team. Um, I'm a colon cancer survivor. I got diagnosed at 25. I had to fight for my diagnosis because all my doctors said, you're a 25 year old female with no history of colon cancer. It's X, Y, and Z, it's not colon cancer. So then um, I talked to six different doctors until one finally tested me and they told me I had um, stage three colon cancer and without treatment, I had two months to live. So obviously I lived. And then about four years later, I found out I have a genetic mutation called PALB2, which ironically is not linked to colon cancer at all. It's linked to skin, breast, and pancreatic cancer. 
So I'm basically just going and getting tested regularly for all the different scans. Um, I was on the session today of telling your story and I'm really passionate about that. Um, I'm normally a behind the scenes type of person. So I work in the depart empowerment department for Grit Health and I do the uh, virtual conferences. And I'm just so happy to see all of you here enjoying this session and all of the sessions that we've had. I think there's 21 of them. Ben Valens is my brother as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for coming and being part of this great event. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for saying hi. Anybody else want to say hi, introduce themselves or tell us a part of the conference that you enjoyed? Going once. <laughs> uh, I can share. I can share. Um, yesterday, I enjoy very much the painting. It was my first paint, so I was very happy about it. Um, and thank you guys for sending the swap bags. Um, it's amazing the goodies that you guys have picked for us. So thank you so much, and to all the sponsors that sponsored that bag as well. And also, um, I enjoy the seminar very much about the caregivers, because when I was going um, through the experience, I knew how I felt. Um, but my husband is a, is a person that, you know, um, he don't say much of, of how he's feeling in situations like this. And I always um, ask him, uh, are you okay? Do you need counseling and things like that? So I found out that, you know, he's not the only one. So that made me feel better in a sense that oh you see it wasn't him um you know being covering himself oh, oh no i'm not I, I, like they all they all um caregivers say oh i'm okay and, or no one asked them and things like that but i tend to ask him uh, frequently it's still now uh, because i know it was a lot of things that that we had to go through um in the process all at once so i enjoy that uh, very much um this morning i enjoy the yoga session it was amazing, a great work, uh, a great uh, way to start the conference today. Yesterday, I got so relaxed with the meditation that I almost fell asleep. And I said, it's one more show, so I cannot. <laughs> so I really enjoy it. I, to be honest, I'm looking forward to see the ones that I, that I couldn't because I was in another session. Uh, I forgot to eat yesterday because I was so focused in the, in the, in the conference and I was like, oh my God, when my stomach, when I heard my stomach in the afternoon time, I was like, oh, I, have, I, I didn't eat. I only have breakfast because I was learning so much. Love and, it. Love yeah, it. I thank you. Hours, very, very focused. So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm glad you joined and I'm glad you had a good time. Um, yeah. Yoga this morning was great. And then the painting yesterday I, I don't love my painting, uh, but maybe I will try it again another day. But I was so jealous of so many of our team members made incredible paintings. Um, if you have your painting nearby, hold it up. Let us see it. Um, I'm still so amazed. Like, who the heck knew you could do that with watercolor? I surely didn't. Very impressive. Very, dang, you guys are good. I'm impressed. Look, Liz already made a second one. <laughs> Overachiever. Very cool. And you're exactly right, Carla, that um, I think as cancer survivors and patients, we can, we're going through so much ourselves. And I think sometimes we do forget that our caregivers are also experiencing our diagnosis in their own way. So I'm really glad we had a caregiver session. I know um, personally, my mom uh, was my caregiver and she took care of me through all of my surgeries, but she also helped take care of my sister-in-law who was diagnosed with breast cancer um, a few months after marrying my brother two years ago. She had to take care of my grandma and also her sister. So she is the caregiver of all caregivers and often puts on a strong face and that's what she had to do to help us get through it. And it wasn't until recently she, 
you know, started attending more grit health events and being more open with me and talking about how it was also hard for her. So I think it's always good to remember that and give grace to people. And even though we're going through a ton, uh, the people helping us and supporting us and loving us are also going through a lot. Uh, anybody else want to say hi? Uh, Dave York, I see you waving over there. Hey, Lauren. I hi. just wanted to say, because you were talking about caregivers, that it was an absolute honor for me this year to moderate the caregiver session that Carla mentioned. Hi, Carla. And we could have talked for another five hours because there's just so much there, but it was really an honor for me uh, to be part of that. I'm a lung cancer survivor and my wife was my caregiver. And when I was sick, my boys, I have three boys. They were all under the age of five at the time that I was going through treatment. And so it was, it was, it was an amazing, um, what my wife did was amazing. And I, I, and I think what we talked about in the session, how I don't, I didn't really grasp the, the, the totality of what she was going through as a caregiver at the time. And so it's important to me that we, that we recognize that and the role that they play and how, how hard it was in my, my own personal lived experience in my wife, it was very hard. So so thank you, Carla, for mentioning that. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dave. It was a great session. Great session. Uh, anybody else want to say hi? Take the plunge, unmute, say hi. Uh, I see uh, Teresa raising your hand. You want to say hi? Uh, I, I'm, I'm Teresa. I'm a Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, survivor since 2018, and I li live in Northern Illinois. I looked it up. <laughs> uh, I I like um, the painting because it's a stress reliever of mine, and I also like the session today uh, with side effects. Yes, that was uh, that was a good one. <laughs> Dr. Stubblefield and his team, uh, they actually participated in a session two years ago, our very first global virtual cancer conference. And they just always provide such great knowledge. And as I'm sure uh, most of you know, that even though treatment is over, um, there's a whole slew of just lovely side effects that come along with everything that never seem to end, uh, which of course is why we had to jokingly name that session, this shit lasts forever, <laughs> um, because it does, it never goes away. So um, happy to hear you enjoyed it. Yes, Ben, with a Y, because we have to be, you know, classy. <laughs> uh, anybody else wanna say hi? Christian, I see you waving. Yeah, I'll say hi. Hi, everyone. So um, I'm a Hodgkin lymphoma survivor. I'm also um, part of the Grit Health team. Uh, just a couple of things I'll mention is, um, you know, we have like uh, what Lauren said, we have you know, an online platform where you can chat with other people. Um, uh, know that all this stuff we in what Lauren says, we always listen to our community as much as possible. Right. So you know, chatting online with other people. If you want to have like another chat room open because you want to talk about whatever, I mean, we can make it happen. We're, we're, we're always listening. Um, and I think the one thing that always happens with GVCC and I'm mentioning it out loud this year is we all really like the connection. We're all feeling really good because we've all been together for the last three days, right? And, and talking together and looking at one another and chatting um, and, and know that, you know, moving in 2022 as, a, as an organization, we're really kind of thinking about how we can, have that kind of connection, maybe be like a little bit more, right. Than, um, than a monthly kind of zoom meeting or, you know, an annual GVCC, it could be something like maybe an impromptu zoom at some point in time, or, you know, Chris, um, who is one of my, one of my colleagues on the team, you know, um, they and I were thinking, you know, what about like a game night just to like hang out with other people that we know that get it. We don't have to talk about, you know, cancer side effects because we're living it, but just know that we're other people that understand it and that get it, like 
come on, that kind of stuff is fun. So um, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming here and, um, and kind of opening up yourselves and, and, and having the discussions that are, you know, uncomfortable discussions and in comfortable places. And, and just wanted to kind of communicate that. Um, that we're, that's what we're looking forward to in 2022. Thanks, Christian. And he's right. Um, anything's possible. <laughs> um, you guys decide things you want to see from us and the community. Um, if you want to do more art, we'll do more art. I, I might not do the art, but I can have somebody on our team do the art with you. Uh, someone whose painting turned out really good. Um, you know, so if you do want to do things like that, it's if we know what you guys are wanting, then that's how we make it happen. So thanks, Christian. Uh, Ruth, do you want to say hi? Uh, yeah. Um, hi, my name is Ruth. Um, I'm from Big Island in Hawaii. I am a stage four neuroblastoma survivor. I was diagnosed when I was four and a half years old. Um, I My mom found this conference. Uh, it has really helped me because it, you know, in hopes of having these kids that have cancer, they're going to grow up to adults and they're going to need something like this. And this is just so amazing. And I'm so glad that there's something exactly like this. Thank you, Ruth. Well, we're glad you joined us and we're glad your mom found us. Um, we do have a lot of young members uh, in the grit health cancer community. We have people of all ages, all over, all cancer types, stages, demographics. We, we're a mixed bunch for sure. And there's always people to learn from and connect with, even if they don't have the same diagnosis as you, or they're not the same age as you, even survivors learning from caregivers and vice versa. So uh, Jeff, Jeffrey, I think you yeah. Your hand? Yes, I did. I want to say that, first of all, I'm a 12 year thyroid cancer survivor. I just want to thank the entire GRIT team and all the presenters for an amazing conference. And wish everybody a happy and healthy and safe holiday. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. We appreciate it. We worked hard. <laughs> We've been working tirelessly to pull this off. Uh, it is difficult but fun to set up all of these sessions and find the right speakers because uh, I like to be really picky with who our speakers are so that I can make sure they're teaching you all information in a way that's understandable because that's really important to us at Grit Health. I uh, have one, one question. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Um, are we going to be able to sign up for future classes like from the, that we did yesterday on the art after the survey or something like that? Uh, so we are working on our 2022 programming schedule. And if we see from the surveys that the art and yoga is something you all really, really enjoyed and would want to see it on a regular basis, that's definitely something I can look into for our program schedule. But when we get all of the recordings put back on the website and send out some follow-up emails and alert you that the sessions are back up on the website, uh, there will be extra information listed there as well. Because I know Casey, who did the art, uh, was willing to put her email address out and the information of how you can do more paintings with her. Uh, we have a little bit more time. Uh, does anybody else want to pop on and say hello? I'll go ahead and say hello. Oh, hi, I'm Rochelle, and I really liked the, no, I want to try to remember what the session was called, the um, You're an Advocate to session because, so I'm a lung cancer survivor, or I'm currently dealing with lung cancer, I guess, and I was really excited about, like, November, I really want to try and advocate for lung cancer awareness and have a post on Facebook and social like every day in November. And then I like burned myself out and I was like, I don't know if my efforts are even really like, no one's really liking my post or whatever. I'm like, okay. So I took a step back. I'm like, I need to re figure this out. And the session just reminded me, like, it's not about, you know, you don't have to do a thousand 
things or, you know, you want to reinvent the wheel. And so it was, I don't know, it's a really good session, but it just reminded me like, it, it's good though, to get your, your story out there and help, even if it just helps one person, um, then it's worth um, sharing your story and trying to help others. Um, so I really enjoyed this session. Liz, thank you so much for telling me about this conference. Um, it's been great and it's been great getting to see some, some familiar faces from other, um, other groups that I've been a part of. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks for sharing Rochelle. And you're exactly right. Um, registering for the conference and showing up for the conference, you're an advocate. It, it doesn't have to be something big and crazy and a Facebook campaign and fundraising and posting and lobbying. It's advocate means different things to different people. And it can be as simple as waking up in the morning, rolling over and telling your partner, you don't feel good. You just advocated for yourself. So it's little small things too. And like you said, it's easy to get burnt out and always remember to take care of yourself. Um, that's really important. So I'm glad you shared and I'm glad Liz invited you. So thank you. Um, anybody else want to say hi? Anybody? Any other people from the Grit Health team? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm being crowded. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. <laughs> uh, this is part of the team that came to Rochester. Yes, we are virtual. Uh, we always yes, we are vaccinated. Um, we are completely virtual, but we were so excited to come together. Um, and come together safely and be together. <laughs> so this is everyone that made it to New York. Christian stayed virtual. Liz is virtual. Ben's virtual. Beth, who else is on here that I'm missing? Katie, Katie D, D. Uh, Dave Bjork, Sam, Sam, Darcy. There are so many team members that stayed virtual and did tons of work behind the scenes as well. So thank you all so much um, for joining for being a part of the Grit Health Cancer community. Um, thank you to all of our sponsors, to our audience. You guys are great. Thank you all so much. And we can't wait to see you again in December for our December member meetup. And of course, see you at more programming in 2022 and our fourth annual Global Virtual Cancer Conference next year. Thank you.